Hello guys, welcome. This is Tepika from mytutorialrack.com. Now let's do a quick recap of what we have done so far. So the first thing is we created a custom object called as medical appointment object. Okay, that is the first custom object that we created and then we added our fields to this custom object and the third step was we loaded some historical data about the prior appointments using our data import. Okay, and we loaded approximately 1900 98 records into this custom object. Now, if you see here for all these 1998 records, we already know the no show value. It's either a yes or if it's either a no, but we want to predict something, right? So what we did was we added approximately 10 new records for future appointments for which we don't know the value of no show. Okay. Is it either going to be yes or it's either going to be no. And that is exactly what we are going to predict using this Einstein prediction builder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed this all this historic data to the Einstein prediction builder and I will ask it to predict is it going to be a no show or is it going to be a show. Okay so what the Einstein prediction builder is going to do it is going to give me a probability score. It's going to give me a score which is telling me what is the likelihood of happening that. Okay is it yes or is it going to be no. Based on that score I can easily predict if it's going to be a yes for no show value you or if it's going to be a no okay so let's go ahead and first look at how many records we have total of so right now we have about 2008 records now out of these 2008 records how many have no show equals to null okay so how many we have it that is approximately about 10 records where the no show is not there and where the no show is not equals to null we have total of about 1998 records okay and if you want to see all the fields, you can add all the fields here, appointment date. Then we have is uh, the major fields we're going to add here is uh, no show value, the neighborhood, and then patient ID and the schedule date. Okay, these are some of the important fields that we are going to add into our query. And this is the results of the query so far. Okay, and for all of them, either you have a no show of no or yes. Now you can see here no is kind of coming more. So may maybe based on this historic data, let's see what Einstein builder is going to predict. Okay, so now the first thing is, I'm going to go back here to my setup. And uh, the, the results of prediction can take anywhere between from 30 minutes to 24 hours. Okay, so what I'll do is once I show you how the Einstein prediction builder works, then what we can do is we can actually see the results that I already have from in a different org, which I did the same exact example. Okay, so I'll show you what will happen. And then you can check it tomorrow what your prediction score is. It's approximately going to take about two days because once you first you get the prediction, then you have to enable it. And then finally, you're going to get the probability score. OK, so from the next tutorial, we are going to start creating our first prediction using Einstein Prediction Builder. So I'm going to see you then. Thank you very much.